go out to California right now where millions of people are facing some of the toughest lockdown restrictions since the uh, spring. Starting tomorrow, new restrictions go into effect. New coronavirus cases and hospitalizations are exploding, putting an already stressed health care system in even greater dire straits. Let's go to CNS Paul Verkamen in Los Angeles for us. Paul, tell us more about these new measures that are about to go into effect in huge chunks of California. Well, they are very serious restrictions. And as you pointed out, they'll go into effect one minute before midnight tomorrow. But what prompted all this? This straight line to despair. It's not a curve. Let's look at the numbers in California. The last count, 20 5,000 new COVID-19 related cases, more than 10,000 hospitalizations, more than 200 deaths. Now, they had impl implemented this plan that if the intensive care unit capacity dropped below 15% in any region, then the new strict measures would go into place. And indeed, it has happened so in the San Joaquin region and in the Southern California region, a total of 27 million people. We will see these measures, which forbid going to playgrounds and museums, to distilleries, breweries, and the like. Also a mandate that people wear masks. We've also had some Bay Area counties join in. So most of the state will be under these severe guidelines. This is not being welcomed throughout the state. In fact, the sheriff of Riverside County call the new restrictions ridiculous. While the governor's office and the state has threatened action against violators, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department will not be blackmailed, bullied, or used as muscle against Riverside County residents in the enforcement of the governor's orders. But back out here live, I'm at the UCLA Medical Center Doctors and nurses, top brass here, applauding these stricter regu regulations. They say they need something to flatten this curve, protect doctors, nurses, and the rest of the public. Also on the UCLA front, they can store a million vaccines here in seven freezers, and they expect to be putting some shots into people's arms here with the COVID-19 vaccination in some two weeks.